so far in our series what we have done is created this simple to do app and then we merged it into our laravel application if you go into our sublime and i open up this main.js so i have two components here which is to do items to do add form and the templates are basically inside my blade.php now Vue.js gives us an option to create individual component file a dot vue file where i can add the script the template and the css styling for that particular component and that entire file becomes an independent piece i can plug and play with that component so in this video we are going to see how we can use a package which we have already installed called laravel elixir viewify which helps us uh, compile those view files into its javascript counterpart and you know manage the components as individual items now if you don't have this package installed you will have to definitely install it you can do npm install laravel elixir viewify and make sure you have saved it in your package.json as well and then what I'm going to do is inside my JS folder inside resources assets JS I'll create a folder called components okay and then in this particular folder resources assets JS components I'll first create a to do folder and in that let's first create the to do item component so to do item dot vue it is going to handle multiple so let's make it to do items okay i'll have two parts one is the script tag like so and the template for now we don't have any css so we can let go of it all right now when we are writing the code inside the view file the module file should do an export default okay and then what we can do is come here and we don't need to define the template first of all because if we are using the dot vue file it will automatically assume anything in this template is basically the components html so we do need the properties so i'll add that and i'll need the methods as well so I'll add this okay with that done we have the entire JavaScript part ready yeah it's that easy and so it's just to do items so I'll copy to do list template right to do list template yes so let's copy this entire div come in my template and yes so um this is it let me remove this i don't need the to do items here okay instead i have to do import let's call it what we're using to do items right so we'll still use the same thing to do items from now we'll have to reference our view file so the main dot js is here so first we'll do dot slash so now we are here and then we need to go into components okay inside components we have the to do folder and inside to do folder we have to do items dot vue okay now you need to remember that by default if it's a js file we don't need to mention the extension but here we have a vue file which is the view file so we do need to mention the extension otherwise it will not work okay uh, so far so good so we still have this component coming from the main js file um, i'll remove this template and let's save all the three files okay browser if i compiled uh, let's refresh come over here and okay so this at the rate is happening because 
now we have a VUE file so I basically don't need this and this which I was adding to escape the two brackets from blade to render so save it again done is it working yes it does I I can see that entire functionality is working so now we have one component ready which is the to do items I can just pick it up and that's it I mean you know we are sending the to do's as a property so wherever we need to use it just include your component file and add this tag so now the second part second part which is resources assets js components inside to do we will add to do add form dot vue let's confirm that's the same name to do add form okay i will just copy that paste oops okay so this is my file right and we come back here first of all the script tag so javascript we have a template tag now everything will be export default then we come over here take the properties the data and the methods okay just reindent them a bit right um, okay so that's done this is the javascript so i can clearly remove this import to do add form from basically here okay and i'll just use the same name okay and yep everything is done except for the template which i can pick it from here inside my template i'll add this okay uh, nothing else so remove this as well and save all the files okay file generated and two components together yes it is working so as you can see very easily convert the components it is working all the functionalities are as it is and now we have a folder where we can manage the components and our main JS file is streamed down I mean you know we can we will later on remove everything from here as well because you know the main JS will be only responsible for um, you know kind of defining the application and the routes and everything else will be just components components as view files so yeah, I find this approach really very interesting and you know it helps me create modular components which I can very easily plug and play into my other projects thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos on twitter facebook everywhere else and yeah do subscribe to my channel